everyone, it's Linda, and it's time to see what came in this pretty pink package. But before we get started, let's address the redneck. I decided to try, I'll put my glasses on so I can see, to try this peel. And I saw this peel on Elle's channel, Elle's for Living, and it is from Perfect Image. It's Revita Boost Peel Pads, and it's a TCA peel. And both Elle and her husband have used these um, pads and they had great results. So I thought I'd give it a try. <clears throat> I have a lot of small barnacles on my neck and my chest has a lot of sun damage. And I'm hoping to maybe see a little bit of tightening of the skin on my neck. So I'll keep you guys posted on this. But for now, let's see what came in this. This month's bag is a light pink bag that has lips on it and pink zipper. And what's different this month is they actually added a little card that tells you about the products that you're getting in your Ipsy bag, which is really nice because in the past I've had to Google things that I don't know about. So we're gonna start out with the first um, item that they have on the card and that is a product by Sand and Sky, and this is what it says about this product. This brand's founders are sisters, and they share a passion for introducing unique Australian botanicals into their skincare. And there's a tip on how to use the product, and it says start with clean, damp skin, gently massage into skin, let it set for five minutes, to give the uh, ingredients a chance to work and then rinse off with warm water. And I didn't notice any scent with this product. No, not really, I don't really smell anything. But I haven't tried it yet. And second on the card is um, an item that I shared on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this already. It is from Purelise. And the founder of this brand is a former actress and she draws from Asian beauty secrets to develop formulas. It's not a real heavy lotion, but oh my goodness, it smells like vacation. And I'm ready for vacation because I am totally over this winter. And the next item is a snail polish and it is by Inaira Cosmo Beauty. And it says this shade was created especially for Ipsy. And this color of red reminds me of the 1950s. Um, it says that it is, that this company is known for their uh, rich, innovative, safe nail polish formulas. And that they are long lasting, chip resistant, won't discolor your nails, and that the products are cruelty free. Next is this eyeshadow from Meech and Maya, and the color's caramel. And it says, this brand is always on trend. It's affordable. And this honey gold eyeshadow is beyond versatile. It has a slight shimmer to it. Um, it says, wear it on your lids, the corner of your eyes, um, brow bones, to brighten up any look. And I'll swatch it for you. Can you see it? It's, it's a pretty color. And lastly is this brush from Farah. It is, it says this brand is known for luxe brushes that won't break the bank. Versatile enough to apply setting powders, bronzers, and blushes and it blends out color smoothly. And this brush is, oh my goodness, it is so soft. I've gotten a few brushes from Farah so far in my Ipsy bags and I've enjoyed them. They've been good quality brushes. So that's it for my Ipsy bag this month. I'll keep you posted on this. <laughs> I'm hoping that this, uh, these barnacles uh, fall off. And by the way, I did do two layers of this. 
and I'll show it to you again just in case you're interested in the product. So what you do is you apply it, wait for a couple of minutes, and you'll see a slight what they call frosting, like a white haze that appears on your skin. And you rinse that off. You neutralize it with water. And if you want, you can go back in and do it again. And that's what I did because the skin on my neck is pretty tough. So I'm expecting here in the next couple days, this will all kind of, it's like a sunburn almost, you know, it sort of um, gets a little hard and flaky and then slowly peels off and be patient. Don't pick it off. Let it come off on its own because then you might get some scarring. But we're going to see how it goes and hopefully I lose some barnacles and see a little tightening. So as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.